All right, in preparation for the Victron, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this fuse panel. Uh, this fuse panel will sit on the AC out of the Victron, and um, it's 50 amps. I think I'll come in from the top and the bottom. So, knock this one out, knock that one out. Um, later, I'll come back with, uh, with some adapters. so that we don't get any uh, chafing on the wire. Um, and we're good. So let me knock those out. So, Victron will come up to the bottom. Uh, there's a common bus bar over here. The hot going into the fuse. So it'll connect up here. Uh, the house wiring will come down. The hot will connect into this guy. Both L1 and L2, both legs. Uh, it's a red and a black wire. Uh, the white wire from the house will come in here. And then all the, all the grounds will be tied together and screw down into that. Nice. Mucho We're gonna twist it and break it. Frickin' who? Alright guys, this is not the final presentation, but uh, just getting it up and running and then I can come back. I might try to find some easier wire to work with, but probably not. I think this is as good as it gets. Actually, the stuff in the trailer is a little bit... Uh, it's got more strands than the stuff I got from Lowe's. So it was a little bit easier to work with. 
the black things. Little plugs. Um, I'll tidy all that up, shorten some stuff. But this is really beating me up. Especially the back. All right, what's left? Um, we need to hook up the uh, the battery cables to the Victron, and then uh, the monitor for the Victron needs to also be hooked up. So let's uh, let's grab those battery cables. Right. Gotta put the ends on them too. So I'll be back. And we're back to the greatest show on earth. It is a circus. <laughs> All right, these guys are a little tight in there. I'm probably gonna elevate this. Um, want to permanently install it so I can get these wires a little bit cleaner kind of a straight shot up instead of trying to turn corners on me we are so close but yet so far away wahoo alright Red cable. Now my transfer switch is is set up to uh, prefer generator over shore power, and uh, does have a thirty second delay on it. But beyond that, um, once this, once I power on one of these batteries or all of these batteries. Um, I will expect the generator to kick out and oh yeah, and the um, the Victron to kick in. What do you guys think? Do it differently. You be the judge and the jury. All right. Let's see what happens. You guys just want me to turn it on, don't you? Here we go. Battery one. Victron's lighting up. It says it's inverting. In a minute here, we should uh, hear a beep. Might not hear it. It's, it's in the in the living room that you hear it. You know what? Let's power it on. <laughs> breaker, breaker. There's a delay on the transfer switch, 30 seconds, so. Here's the uh, defining moment. There it goes. We are, wow, that transfer switch is loud. All right. Let's see if we can crank over an air conditioner. I want you guys to see that I'm gonna disconnect this generator. No more generator. It's disconnected. Come here. That's 
and hooked into the trailer. So we're pulling zero amps according to that piece of junk. That's the fan. We'll go to AC. Our 10 amps. According to this. And that's AC amps. 11 amps. 120 volts. Let me see if this thing will show me the uh, amp hour usage. That's volts, of course. Alright, we're drawing 56 amps. So, running that AC unit non stop, got about just shy of eight hours worth of battery. There we go. 60 ish. 65, 67. Alright, Hunt, we have one air conditioner running on the Victron. So I'm pulling 12 amps here. If I go kick on my Honda and hook it up to the Victron, I'll be running an AC and charging my batteries. Um, which is about fantastic. Uh, you know, eventually we'll get enough solar on the roof to where during the hottest part of the day we have enough solar coming in, in theory. I look to get about 2,000 watts or so, which, you know, uh, assuming we're not getting direct sunlight, we're, we're probably bringing in, um, you know, close, close to this 12 amps worth of AC. Um, so in theory, with enough solar, which will fit on the roof, um, I could be in the midday sun and be running one AC. Anyhow, guys, um, I will start filming again when uh, when we got this all cleaned up and looking good. So see you in a bit.